Hi, I'm Julie. Hi, I'm Q. And this is Surviving, Surviving the, the Korean, Korean military. military. In this video, we're going to be talking about what the Korean military really is. After recording the last video, we realized that there will be there will be not much people who knows what Korean military is like and why is it so big deal. Yeah. So this video is to help you understand about the situation we went through for the past two years. Done. Here's a fun fact. Military service is mandatory of every Korean male in Korea. Unless you have Senator or Samsung LG, that kind of big company owner in your family, you will do it. There are many athletes and very popular K-pop singers that have had to stop their careers and attend the military. Of course, there were lots of celebrities who tried to avoid it, but it didn't work there much. Nope. There is one instance where a K-pop star um, ended up going to a different country, and now he is no longer allowed in South Korea. Oops. Let's talk about serving time. Army and Marine is 21 months serving. Navy is 22, Air Force is 24. So a thing that differs between the Korean military and the American military is that in America, the, our soldiers get paid a decent wage. And in Korea, they get paid almost nothing. Now, depending on your branch, you get paid a little bit differently, correct? Not actually, it depends on what rank are you. So at 2015, when I joined the military, one striper paid 100 bucks for a month. So that's just one month pay. So it's like making 10 cent per an hour, for real. And step surgeon, who is four striper, they paid 150 bucks per a month, which is almost 20 cent per an hour. Good deal. <laughs> so let me just talk about what he mentioned. A one striper is someone who is brand new to the military, someone who just got out of basic training. Mm -hmm. And then someone who has four stripes or is a staff sergeant is someone who is very close to the end of their military serving period and they are just about to leave. Okay, so let's talk about vacation time. Vacation time is going to be drastically different than American military soldiers. In the Korean military, he wasn't allowed to leave the base unless he had specific permission to. So vacation to American soldiers means they can go out from the country, do whatever they want, meeting their family, girlfriend, wife. So basically, it's really vacation. But for a Korean military, vacation means you can pretend as a civil for a certain amount of time. Like you can go to your family, girlfriend, wife, if you have. But it's more likely two or three days per how many? Two months? It's bad. Yeah. Also, another thing that was really crappy <laughs> was our communication with each other. So in basic training, he wasn't allowed to have his cell phone. He wasn't allowed to use any kind of internet connection. So we did what any couple did, and we used the mail system. <laughs> I mean, it's very old system and kind of romantic, but it's very uncomfortable and useless. So after basics and after writing millions of letters to each other, after six long weeks, we went to, uh, we, he got to use Facebook in a mm -hmm. computer lab, and then he, wasn't, he was still not allowed to take his cell phone onto the base. So, uh, most of the base has a place called Sajibang, which means uh, cyber knowledge, something, blah, blah, room. So it's basically a room filled with computer. So you can do Facebook or maybe some messenger program so that you can contact with your family, friends, but never phone. You cannot have phone. If you, if you have phone and get caught by an officer or higher than any surgeon, then you can go to jail. Diddle dee! Diddle dee dee! 
<laughs> so this is our story and I hope you check back in with us every week when we upload a new topic about our unique military experience and we appreciate you watching. See you next time.